What's up YouTube? My name is Big Daisy, you can call me DC, and today we're gonna be talking about the Viper Mini. Viper Mini. I got mine for 1,600 pesos off of Lazada, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it is a really good mouse for the price. It is the cheapest uh, Razer mice, Razer mouse, mice, Razer mouse that you can get. And uh, yeah, my first reaction when I got the mouse is it's extremely light. At 60 grams, it really is an insane mouse. Uh, for comparison, I am coming from a Logitech G304, which is uh, already pretty light mouse compared to other mice. When you look at the spec sheet, right, 60 grams, same length and width with a G304, Logitech G304. And I was like, hmm, 60 grams, but with a wire compared to a Logitech G304, which is wireless. A Logitech G304 already is like at 100 grams with a battery. And uh, you, I, th I think it's around 110 more or less 100 grams and 40 grams might not sound like a lot from going from 100 grams to 60 grams but it's that, that 60 grams is already pretty is an insane jump it's like going from 60 fps to 144 fps which is kind of insane razor is a very expensive brand when you think about all of their keyboards and mice and uh, it's not your budget friendly company when it comes to gaming peripherals but this this mouse is their cheapest mouse and you won't expect this kind of price point from uh, Razer. 1.6 for a mouse from Razer. Usually their mice ranges from 2,000 all the way to like four or 7,000 pesos. So 1.6 one, one is pretty insane. You can also get this for like 1.2. I've seen them go down to like 1.2 on sale and stuff like that. I bought the Viper Mini because one, it was cheap and two, it's a Razer mouse. Like what else is there to say? It's a really good mouse. As I said earlier, I am coming from a Logitech G304, which is a wireless mouse. They have the same length and width when it comes to uh, the hand feel, but you have to take into consideration that the G304 curves outward when you're holding it, and the Viper Mini curves inward in the middle. So when you actually hold it, it feels a lot smaller than the dimensions say. So take take that in mind when you're buying this mouse. They are not the same when you're holding them. They f the Viper Mini feels a lot smaller compared to the Logitech G3 or 4. Now, uh, going from wireless to wired, I didn't really feel a difference because I also have a bungee that I use when I'm using the Viper Mini. And uh, it's, it's, it's so extremely light that I rarely find that I miss not having wireless. Because the amount of weight that you shave off from going from wireless to wired is pretty insane. The Viper Mini uses uh, Razer's optical switches compared to Logitech using Omron switches. It feels a lot mushier compared to Omron's, but you would uh, adapt to them pretty fast, honestly. Uh, scroll wheel feels nice. Middle mouse button also pretty great. Side buttons also great. And uh, there's not much to say about how it feels in the hand other than it does curve inward compared to Logitech G304. I would recommend this mouse if you are starting into uh, eSports. It's a really good mouse. It goes extremely well. If I were to get a different mouse other than this, something cheaper, like a super budget friendly, still pretty gameable mouse, I would go for Logitech G102. It's uh, I think 1000 pesos. It has the same body as the G304 except wired. And I think it's a little lighter as well. So like plus plus there. If you have any other questions, violent reactions, or just want to say hi, feel free to comment down below. I also stream on Twitch every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Link's gonna be down below. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys again soon, right? Mm. Alam, stay big.